Welcome back to the channel where it's always the hair might be fake but the reviews aren't and neither are my opinions. Today we're doing a $430 challenge with a jolt. Um, I have a dart catch. Seth, thank you to Tesfra's Nerf Room for giving me that dart catch. I'm so grateful for that. Um, I have all the darts laid out on my bed because I really didn't have any other way to lay them out unless I wanted to just like have a bucket full of them and I didn't feel like that would be the best way to do this. Also, speaking of Tesfra, Tess, I know you still have a jolt. And I, I challenge you to do this and beat my time. I have a one hour timer set up on my PC and I'm gonna start that timer right as I fire a first start and I'm gonna end it once I shoot the last one. And in editing, I'll be able to determine how long that road was. So it's counting down, not up. It's just gonna be easier for me to do the math that way. So if it takes an hour, then we know we have a problem. Let's get right into it, guys. All right, guys, if you're wondering if I have earbuds in, it's because I legitimately know I'm going to be here for at least 10 minutes at the bare minimum. So I'm just going to kind of go through it. This is a brand new Jolt. The spring is pretty much brand spanking new. I fired like 20 or 30 darts though just to make sure it was good. And kind of just to practice putting darts in and get the, the hang of it. All the darts right here laid out. I'll show you those real quick. Yeah, I'm not redoing this video again. This is a one take video. I'm not doing, I'm not even gonna edit that part. You guys don't even get an edit there. You guys have to look at that mess and then you have to look at me put the camera back. How you enjoy that? Frick this. <laughs> Thank you so much for all your support, you guys. You guys are awesome. Oh my God. I have to, oh, I was planning on nailing too. I don't know if I'll work anymore. I am just, <laughs> that won't work. I look stupid. I'm a floating head. <laughs> That's so dumb. I want you guys to see my butt, you weirdos. You gotta pay for that. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Alright. I mean, I'm gonna have to run back over here, so. Alright. Three. Two. One. I'm scared of this. Go. I kind of have to talk during this because you're just watching me shoot a Joel. And you know what? I don't care. Uh, but yeah, we'll find something to talk about here. Like the channel and how it's been doing. I wanted to say thank you so much for all your love and support. You guys, you guys have been really crushing like the, the freaking views on videos. The, the like button's been going off. I'm so grateful for it, man. It's just, it's something I can't ever, like, say I'm not going to be grateful for. Because, like, you guys make me want to do stupid videos like this and do challenges like this. Prime, shoot, prime. Shoot, I have to get a rhythm here. But, it's like, I, I never expected to be this big on YouTube. Especially the fact that I have this many people watch my my videos it just it means so much i get emails from you guys it's awesome um so i'm i'm forever grateful and that's why i don't mind doing this this kind of content it was frustrating to have to sit there and hand count out 430 darts but like it was fine because you know like it's a With, uh, I'm losing my train of thought, damn it. Frick, whatever, who cares? Move on to the next topic. Um, but yeah, I'm also challenging Tess to do this. Tess needs to do this video. I'm shocked he hasn't done this video, and I know he has the ammo for it, and I know he has the blaster for it. And he, just, like, he has micro shots he just reviewed. Oh, I missed that one. Just a, just a, like, a few days ago. And that's because we went out and we went drifting. And then I was like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And I actually got this jolt from Texas, so you know, shout out to Texas. But, um, 
yeah, he he has the blaster. So make sure you go like comment down below on one of his videos. Like, do a 430 dark challenge video. Do it phase this time, you know, just to go mess with them. And I mean, he's gonna watch this video. I know he is. It's probably like the worst camera angle I could do. Like, you guys can see the back of me, and that's about it. Frick. I'd love to do, like, viewer submitted content on stream. Yeah, I'm going to be jumping around on topics, guys, sorry. I'd love to do viewer submitted content on stream, I think would be fun. Um. Just because I enjoy watching other people's content. Like if someone had a video they want me to react to, I I said before you DM me on Discord. And um Discord username is like phase one phone by T. I keep missing occasionally. My hands starting to hurt too. And uh, I'd love to like see viewer submission videos. Just make sure I can uh, Creative Commons attributions are on. Cause then then I can uh, actually react to it on stream. Because like Tessa's videos didn't used to have those, and I got struck by the system. Nothing wrong with that, it's in there for a reason. Tessa didn't know about it, so it's not his fault, I'm not mad about it. Oh my god. On row two. Come on. This is like, I'm getting a groove here and I'm trying not to like lose focus. I'm grabbing three darts at once because that's, in my opinion, the best way for me to do it. Some people can grab like five and be fine, but this is the, the fastest I can do this. Killing me. Oh god. This is not like an alpha troop or anything. An alpha troop I would argue is worse. Like it's honestly way worse to do an alpha trooper than to do a jolt. This is how you stress test Ergo on a blaster, by the way. You just shoot it 400 plus times. And this guy's 430. And honestly, I'm not doing bad. I feel fine. It's just like I don't know why anyone would shoot a jolt this many times in a game. I've seen people run jolt in HVZ. I run a jolt in HVZ. I have a jolt in a pouch with one dart in it. Or I used to. Until phase one got uh, stuck with the blaster in it. I shoot short darts. And I just use that because then it's one for a zombie, one for me. So that way I'm not a zombie. I turn into a zombie. I just don't have to Story-wise, my guy doesn't kill my friends. You know? Oh. Break. Oh. Son of a... Oh, Vandivaro sucks. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Vandivaro sucked. All right, moving up. That's how you speed reload, bro. I'm listening to YouTube in the background, guys, so like, I'm just like, I'm chilling right now. Oh, that was, that was terrible. I felt that one too, like, it, 
<laughs> you, I could feel that the dart was like, it's, so my ammo is puffed up, because it's warmer in my room, it's like negative something outside, but it's pretty warm in my room, so the, the ammo is starting to swell a little bit, which I have cold air blowing on me, and I have hot air from a heater that I forgot to actually shut off, and I've kind of messed up the order of my darts, but I don't care. This is, this is just going to be one take. You guys can just freaking look at the dark catch, which is kind of boring for you, I bet. Like, I don't know, like, how else I would have done this besides doing, like, a wider angle. But I don't have a tripod yet, so I still have to get a tripod. And I, and I know, I constantly say I'm going to get a tripod. I have yet to get one. And, uh, damn it, I just dropped one. Damn it. Okay. Speed up a little bit here. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to get ahead a little bit, but we're doing good so far. Move back a little bit more. Such a horrible framing thing. I'm going to look back in editing and we're like, hey, who is it? Oh, look, you did a good video, but. The idea of the video was good, and you did a horrible frame so It's like, shut up. Future, future, Keegan editing. Just uh, go through with it, man. You're doing good so far. I've got this. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm not gonna be doing this freaking video. We both know I'm not going to. channels have been good. I know I'm going to be jumping around a lot. But recently I've kind of gone back to my roots as a creator, I think. I think I've kind of just, I, I, I've gone away from like the silliness a little bit, obviously. I still make jokes here. That, man, that was two terrible place shots. That was a third. Can we get a fourth? No, we can't. Um, but I've, like, people are like, well, you should be monetized right now. I'm like, no, I get why YouTube makes you wait until a thousand subscribers. Um, so, yeah. I'm not, I'm not terribly worried about it. You know, I have to remember that, you know, I'm working my butt off and it will all pay off in the end. If I keep working hard, I can make it big. I think a lot of people forget about that. They're like, how do I start YouTube like you? I'm like, just start recording stuff. That was my first video. I just kind of just started filming that modification video. And, um, that's why I was just like, I started doing it. A few people watched. I kept making a few more videos. And I didn't really plan to be this large on YouTube. The, the, the best thing you can do is expect nothing. Expect nothing to happen and just enjoy what you do because it's just better that way. Like, it is so much better for you to just go through your life like normal and know that, hey, I'm doing the best that I can and if it works out, it works out. And if it doesn't, then, then you still want to make videos, just keep doing it. I don't think if a nerf content creator should have to go do a bunch of trend bull crap 
that was an FDJ, I didn't even know this. So. Um, because on the YouTube space, if you don't do trends, then you really aren't gonna, it's just not gonna work out, honestly. I don't have any reason to go do the stupid trends that are coming out right now. The whole, we're like the whole like, uh, it was like a, we're blank and we blank. It's like, it's stupid. It's like, we're modders, we mod blasters because Hasbro does them. It's like, that's a stu videos like that, stuff like that, I hate. I hate when people have to go to trends because their videos aren't doing well. And then they start to realize that once they start making money off of it, doing the stuff that they weren't originally doing and they realize that they're not enjoying it, that can probably contribute to them quitting. And it's understandable why. I don't really like doing the trend stuff. I kind of just make what I feel like it. Like recently when I went to Texas, which was, I went Monday. Oh no, I left Monday. And I came back yesterday morning. Um, I was there, I was filming a bunch of videos I was planning on doing, because there were videos that I wanted to film. Not because someone else requested them necessarily, but because there were videos that I've had planned or videos I was know I was going to enjoy making. And because I do that, that means I'm going to enjoy the outcome of that content. Phase one, I, I told Tess this, I'm like, I wanted to get 20 views in a week. That's, that, if I had to set a goal, that's what my goal was going to be. And I knew that that was completely possible for that video, because my analytics and uh, my subscriber count. So I knew that eventually that video would hit 20 views. Um, I was not expecting it to hit 2.6 is what I think it was at when I looked today. It's like the 18th or 17th. Um, or 6, 10, I don't know what it is. I'm not gonna look. But uh, I was not expecting it to hit that many. So it was, it was very interesting to, to see. And I'm very grateful for it, because that was a video that I was very content with hitting 30 or 20 views on, 20 or 30 views on. And um, you guys blew that thing out of the freaking park. That kind of is launching the new version of me, more happy, more goofy, a little bit more enjoyable to watch kind of thing on camera. When you're not really watching me, you're watching a dark catch right now, but still, you know. Regardless, it's been... A lot of fun. Oh god. Okay, new event of a row. This dart catch is working really well for us. I, we've kept a lot of the darts in, minus the ones I've missed and a few that have bounced out, but otherwise it's doing really good. I'm curious how modded blasters are gonna react to this though. I almost put the dart in head first, gosh darn it. I think a lot of people have asked me this question so much. Where do you get motivation to film? My motivation is off. I, oh, that's terrible. That counts. That one counts. Um, and I just, oh my god, just jumping around on this stuff is ridiculous. I usually cut a bunch of crap out in editing, and I just missed again. If I always focus on aiming, then, uh, actually be trying to, I am trying to aim in the general direction of that, because it's a man sized target there. I was nowhere near it. Um, but I'm trying to go fast. So yeah, like people are like, where, your where does your motivation come when you go to film? It's like, I just have that drive, that will to be like, okay, I'm this close to 
to 256. This close to 257. If I could gain one more subscriber, if I can do another video in today, um, then it'd be worth it. If I can make content that I'm enjoying, that can get my mind off of stuff that, you know, maybe my day was crappy and making a video, I can always focus on the video and just enjoy myself a little bit while filming. A lot of people don't understand that, and it's like, I can honestly speak in here. I had never, like, I, I'm, I'm, I look so sad on camera, but I am so happy when I'm recording and filming videos. I do have a fun time doing it. I think phase one kind of showed that. Like, I was, I was happier in that. Um, I have a freaking reaction channel going in the background. I want to go fast because I want to hear that. Reaction content is dumb. Now I do reaction content. That's legitimate. Well, okay, let me rephrase this. Reacting to content in the sense that you're not actually giving a reaction to makes no sense. Like Sniper Wolf. Sue me. I don't care. That's not reaction content. That's called death. You guys always get to see who I'm reacting to, and I always like find a way to show you guys that person and their content. I've never, I never, and if I, if someone was to email me, and be like, hey, I want credit for that, I'd, I'd make a little annotation in the video or the stream uh, in the description, link into their channel. I, I think everything is dumb when it comes down to that, because it's like if you're gonna sit there. And really not give a reaction. I want to make squid. No? Um, then it's no point. Like, it's it's adding the commentary to it. Especially when it comes to mod videos and Tessero's videos. I definitely am adding a lot of commentary. And I don't shut up. Which is why I've never done a reaction, like, video, so to speak. Like, reacting to Tessero. Uh, the test rack or whatever because I have no reason to. But also it's like, I don't see the point in it, you know. I've never been a huge fan of reaction channels, personally. Yeah, I might get in there. But like, I've never sat down and have purposely only made reaction content. I make Nerf videos, and I react to Nerf related things. Um, I've reacted to myself, kind of just showing the personality change over the year. Almost, we're nearing two years. Um, 2023 was my, I don't know, first, that one won't shoot, full year on YouTube. There's another one by my foot that bounced back, so I'm gonna fire that one off. There, that counts. Because that white one wasn't gonna shoot. Um, but no, it's like, I just don't, I don't sit down thinking I should only make that kind of stuff. And it's just, it's, because it's just not my thing. And if it's your thing, cool. But it's I don't get it. The TikTok reaction stuff I, I don't even have a TikTok because I don't like to have a reason to use it. Or well, I know I can go through this whole video, you guys won't be able to hear me, and I'd be a little bit more pissed. So I'd probably just beat it up and uh, do an outro. I don't know why anyone is watching this. I don't know if anyone is going to watch this, but this is actually kind of fun to me. I'm curious what time I'm going to get. I hope to God it's not... I'm still recording. Yep, okay. I know it's back. I didn't have a choice. I hope to God it's not an hour. I can't see the timer. I can kind of see it, but I can't see the numbers. So I don't know how long this is going to be. I thought it was...
a little bit destroyed. But uh, yeah. All right, thank you for Tess for providing these darts too. He provided me with all these uh, OE darts that he didn't want to keep that weren't like limited edition things. And I was, I'm very grateful for that because uh, I knocked that dart down. Anyway, very grateful because I'm able to not sacrifice any crappy darts or good darts for um for videos. I can use them in actual words then. And uh, that's mainly because my uh, my good ammo I actually have somewhere in here. I don't know where. I can't really look around. It's probably behind me actually. But uh, my good ammo is just uh, dark zone watermelon darts or dark zone chili darts, whatever how you want to call them. I just dropped the dart. Damn it! I'm talking about darts. I'm gonna be out of darts soon. Actually, I can't do that because that's a Luke. But, um, yeah. Another thing I hate about YouTubers, or just YouTube, it mainly comes down to YouTubers, is I'll do fake laughs. I keep dropping darts. I hate that. I hate fake laughter. If you don't really have a genuine response, don't laugh. It's weird. It makes me feel awkward. Cause then I'm like, kind of kid it. <laughs> like fake laugh. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> oh, I need content. <laughs> it's stupid. It's actually annoying. My hand. Oh, it's, it's starting to hurt a little bit. Not the arc of it. <laughs> that came right back onto my bed. That's hilarious. I'll start. Oh, my hand is from the grip. I was gripping up here and stuff down here. I guess should have been. Dude, that did pretty good. Oh god, alright, we're done. 25 minutes to, tw oh, it's like 25 minutes and a few seconds, give or take. That's not bad for, I'll, I'll put it on screen, just slap it on screen or something, do some stupid transition. That's not bad for a jolt, honestly. I probably could have gone a lot faster if I had a bit of a better setup, like a table, and they weren't like, they were closer together and stuff, but, um, yeah, no, I did. I made do with what I can, and that's kind of what you guys gotta do. You wanna do YouTube? Just make do with what you've got. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. If you have any other blasters you guys want me to do, any kind of time challenged with, any 430 dark challenges with, let me know down in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next one. Remember, as always, the hair might be fake, but the reviews aren't, and neither are my opinions. Stay safe. God bless. Phase out.